So I've opened up uh, Microsoft Excel. This is on my Windows 7 machine. I'm not doing this particular recording on my Linux laptop. I'm going to go ahead and open up the uh, file. I've got two files as of 1231. One of them is without macro code. The other one is with. And even though it doesn't actually have any VBA code in it, it still gives you this security warning from Microsoft Excel. And you can see it has macros from Software Polish. That's the name of my company. If you want to look it up online, we do boring actuarial stuff. So I'll just click the button to disable the macros because it's not really material. So this thing comes up in the roast logs tab and this is how I store information for each roast that I've done on my hot tops and I've actually got two windows I'll click on control tab and that takes me down to the uh, roast history so it actually shows the dates that I did roasts and I have all kinds of information in here so this is just the first step is you know getting the Excel file loaded and then the next step is to show you more interesting stuff, which is on the Inventory tab. So what I want to do here is to show you, I, I have some notes that describe the process of uh, adding a new coffee. Like, here's a section on roasting guidelines. Here are questions people ask me on typically the... Uh, homebarista.com website and then I had several steps about adding a new coffee but it may be a little simpler to follow if I just show you what I do instead of actually walking through those steps you know and trying to keep track of them so I'm gonna squish this up a little bit so I can illustrate so like the last coffee that I have here coffee number 144 is a Rwanda which I'm in the process of getting and these numbers this 144 is my magic number that I use to refer to a particular coffee the actual amount of the coffee goes back to the roast history tab so if I click on that one you'll see that I have there pretty much the same sort of uh, setup where I've got 2270 and if I go all the way down here you'll see here is the name of the coffee, which is this highlighted item. And I've got, I haven't done any roast yet because I don't even have the coffee, but that was the last one that I added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the next coffee. So I'm going to copy these things. So I'll just say, uh, copy that and then paste it. So there's, there's my next coffee. It's going to be number 145. And so to see how that works, I go back down to the next. And what I need to do is to copy this and insert that copied stuff. And I'll change the name here to be Dummy 2019, like a brand new coffee. And then I'll also copy these things. So notice there's no entry for number 145. I've got to do that part manually. So there it is. And I have coffee number 145. There's five pounds of it. If I wanted to change this, I could say, well, what if it's six pounds? So if I got six pounds of coffee, it does the calculation to figure out that's 2,724 grams. If I go back to this page, you'll see there's my 2724, and there is my dummy 2019. So that's essentially the process of adding a new coffee. It's these two sheets, inventory and roast history, are linked. And then over here, that magic number is what shows up in column A for each coffee. So, for example, if I change that to 145, you'll see that it automatically pulls in the new coffee description. So that's what that number is all about, is keeping track of every single roast that I've done on the hot top.